stronger collaboration to curb North Korea's nuclear ambitions. A flurry of diplomacy on various levels took place in Seoul today to do just that. Our Kwon Soa starts us off with the Seoul Washington Strategic Talks, a three way meeting between South Korea, U.S., and Japan, as well as a speech by Seoul's Foreign Affairs Minister. On their second round of strategic talks in Seoul Wednesday, South Korea's Deputy Chief of the Presidential Office of Chong Ade, Cho Tae Yong, and U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Tony Blinken saw eye to eye that pressure on North Korea should be kept or strengthened. The two agreed to enforce efforts in the implementation of UN Security Council sanctions, as well as independent measures to support those by South Korea, the U.S., Japan, and the EU. On the same day, South Korea's top nuclear envoy Kim Hong-yun and his U.S. and Japanese counterparts Song Kim and Kimiro Ishikane put their heads together for response measures against North Korea's failed ballistic missile launch last week, as well as further provocations from the regime, including a possible fifth nuclear test. Seoul and Washington's representatives followed the three-way discussion with one-on-one -on -one talks on the same matter later in the day, said to have touched upon ways to increase cooperation from China in curbing North Korea's missile and nuclear weapons program. Evident in these strings of bilateral and multilateral discussions, Seoul's foreign minister Yoon Byung-se stressed during a lecture Wednesday that South Korea's diplomatic environment has changed over the years, calling for more omnidirectional cooperation in changing North Korea. We haven't closed the doors to dialogue with North Korea, but as we can see through the UN Security Council's resolution, there is a clear global consensus that the vicious cycle we've seen in the past, meaning North Korea's violations followed by negotiations and again violations, must stop. Minister Yoon says there are already signs that show North Korea is feeling the pain of the measures imposed on the regime's latest provocations, saying that the international community has never been more united in its desire to resolve the North Korea issue. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.